guys, I have two pretty awesome boxes here to open up for Vlogmas Day 3, which I'm a little bit late with, but I'm trying to stay on top of it because this is what I'm committed to. I have my July Special Foxy Picks in a package from the 1407 Planners, and I'm going to put together my first B6TN. Um, the B6 size is really popular right now in the planner traveler's notebook community. I think it's just because of the amount of space that is included in the um, layout and how it, you know, just provides a lot of writing space for those of us who are used to writing in, you know, um, I guess five by seven or a little bit bigger planner sizes. And so people have just kind of jumped on that size. And so my July special is a B6 and then I got B6 inserts in my 1407 planners. I bought their um, monthly kit. So I'm excited to show you if you'd like to see what it looks like to put together a B6 and then if you want to see me put together a B6 for the very first time, um, stay tuned. Okay, so this is what was included in my packages. This is my Foxy Fix package. It included a sample of a leather I think this is, I just smelled it. <laughs> That's not how you identify what the leather is, but I just smelled it. I think this might be Rowena, which I think, it, which I also just read, um, is part of the in stock notebooks that they have. So that's really pretty. And then I opened this before, but I don't know why I didn't put it back in. It comes with two secretarial pocket. Um, inserts which I'm gonna have to decide if I want to stick this in there or not because um, I know the adhesive can leave residue on the leather I have to decide and then so those are, I'm sorry not inserts these are adhesives and then a doctorate insert so that's nice and this is what the notebook looks like I got simply by heart my blog Instagram, uh, YouTube channel name, and the in stock had the, it's a coconut B6 white stitching, light pink elastic, and I got pink foil. And it came with an extra jump band, which is awesome. So that's what came with Foxy Fix's package. And then this is the Travel with the 1407 Planners monthly package. And then there's a little clue about their upcoming August kit, which I'm already gonna get. Like I've already bought the TN from them for that. So included are eight sheets of printed paper, which is right here on the bottom. These are gnomes and then, so there are two of each sheet. I've saw this because of the fairies and that is why I got them. Look at this girl right here. Adorable, right there. So there are two sheets of those and they're green on the back. A page of gnomes, purple, looks pretty. Um, another page that has gnomes as well. And then on the back are like the fairies. So that came and then there is a charm. Let me take the charm out and see if I can show it to you closer up. So the charm is a little mushroom. See that? Cute. So there's that. I'm gonna have to find a place to put that so I don't lose it. I actually have a bunch of, I'm trying to find all of my like paper clips and stuff and store them. I might just go ahead and clip this to the planner though. To the notebook itself, I'm sorry. Um, I wanna put it here. For now I'll put it on the outside since I'm going to be putting this kit together. There is a K&Co XOXO um, clip. I don't own any of her clips, so that's really cute. There was a sample sheet of stickers from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I bought the full kit, so I, it included all these. I also got the mini kit or the regular kit and in, in um, pocket size because like I said I really love the fairy and so I want it for my pocket too. I got a pocket mochi that I think I'm going to put together. But back to the <laughs> back to the topic. These are little um little they're not post-its, they're just papers. So these will be cute to like stick in a dashboard. 
And then here are page toppers that I love, love, love. They're really nice and sturdy. So this one says this week, and then the to-dos with the little um, garden gnomes. Here are, here are, I got some stuff delivered. I, my post office is the worst, but I can talk about that right now because my blood pressure will go up. <laughs> but um, I just got an alert about something that was supposed to be delivered yesterday that's finally here. Um, here are the die cuts. So isn't she so cute? Natasha, oh my gosh. Like, I love this paper or these papers. Um, if you ever bring this back, I will buy it in an A6. Like, and then I'll have them in all the sizes. So there's that one. Oh no. They're so cute. And then her. Oh, she's gonna go on the front somehow. Cause I love that one. So those are die cuts and they're not even like, these are heavy weight. Like these must be more than a hundred um, pound paper. Cause like the, oh, these are really, really sturdy. I'm excited to use those. I definitely won't have to laminate those to like make sure that they're durable because they're awesome. And then here are some dashboards that are already put together. I don't have any, there are two of the fairies. Cute. I don't have any, um, what are those called? Dashboard inserts, you know, kind of like, let me see if I have one more around that I can show you. Cause I only have, for, I don't have any for the B6 size. I only have them for, the pocket in the A6 size. And I saw a video the other day on how to DIY one, so I might do that really quickly so I can have some. And then, did I have everything? Am I missing something? Here are the stickers. So there are some tabs, which are gonna be perfect on the inserts. Oh, I should flip through the inserts and let you see, and then some kind of deco ones. And Oh, I haven't even gotten to the inserts. <laughs> and then more tabs and date dots and things that you can use in the planner. So that's cute. And then here are the inserts. They were packaged so nicely. I might use this little um, ribbon somehow in the TN notebook itself. So I'm gonna set it to the side. So this one says, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow. I love that. And this is just kind of a list, all right? That's all, yeah list with little gnomes at the top and then here's her I'm gonna have to come up with a name for her she's like so pretty and this one is their like full month insert that I've been eyeing on their website so the 1407 planner is who also has travel with the 1407 and so travel with the 1407 is more geared towards like travelers notebooks and things like that and so they sell kind of kits so they sell kits and things that you know work really well if you have a tn and so um but their regular website the 1407 planners is just the inserts and like not just tn inserts but also um, personal planners a5s things like that so um, but this one I've been eyeing on their regular website. It has the month in view and it has a couple of weeks, two, three, four, five weeks, which is good because there are sort of five weeks in August. And then note grid paper. Is it just note? Okay, so and I think that's it. So this is perfect to put in the TN. I think all these will work and I have to think of a fourth one to put in there so that I can right oh no I think I can make it work with like the jump in and just using one strand this is going to work it's going to look so nice together look this ribbon match is perfect okay so let's get started first thing I want to do is go ahead and put in my inserts this will be fun because I can show you about using a jump band. So what insert do I want to put in first? Because I have the Foxy insert and these three. I think I'm just going to stick to these three inserts. So in the middle, 
Let's do the foxy one to start. You can do that there. Okay. And so on each end. So I'm not going to use that one that's in there, but I am going to use the jumping one. And this is the way that I've learned to do it. Um, so, so we're going to try this out. First, I found the middle. I'm sliding it over here. Right? And then I find the middle here, and I'm kind of putting them back to back. Right? But in order to do that, I flip this one. I find the end of that band that's on this book. See, right there? This one is the one that's in. Let me show you. So. I'm pulling this one for the well, it's connected to this book. And then I'm sliding it in. There. And so now, right, all three of them are there. So you have one book, two books, three books. Right. Okay. So now, let's see, I want to maybe use some die cuts on here. So I actually took some time. I got up, I watched a YouTube video because I had to be reminded on how to do it. Um, and I created some dashboards, right? Some, is it final style dashboards? It's going to a little something in it, so I'll put it in the back. But so in, what I did was I took this that I originally put on the craft cover, I took that off. And I'm going to stick it, well, first I'm going to put it in here. And it'll be a little bit bigger than the cover, which is fine. So when I close it, so when I close it, you can kind of see. I won't be stuffing it, so. I'm gonna stick that in there. made it tall enough and it looks like it hangs out just a little bit. Maybe I cut that one too short. That'll be okay for now. And then I have a paper. I'm going to put a soft it out facing towards the back. And I didn't say I will link the video that I will watch to do this um, down below. Oh, okay, that's weird. I'm saying maybe this one's just a little bit taller. Or... No. Okay. So that's how that looks. But I was putting washi tape on this craft cover and I actually think I want to put some washi tape on the cover to give it a little flare of something. There's this Simply Gilded washi tape, which has like pinks and golds, which I think will look good. I'm just gonna put a few strips on there. Okay, that just added a little something extra because I'm also going to put some die cuts on here. I'm gonna try not to overdo the fairies and maybe do a little guy. Or maybe I can do both.
This is a little card that came. Um, to display, kind of like to show. It has a decorative background, or at least his green, so I thought that was cute. Mm, I do not know. Do something like that, and then write something in. While well, I'm thinking about it, let me stick this in here. That would be fun. And then another long oh, no, guy. Very, very long beard. You know. That's what the cover looks like. Alright. And that's the back. I'm going to put in another. Uh, dashboard that I made that has this girl on it. I'm going to cover this one up and I'll wrap this one around here. Really cool because it's both purple on the inside. Secretarial pockets to the inside. Monsters Co. stickers in there. So that looks super sweet. Okay. Then, where's the list? Right, this is the list insert. I'll put my to do. There. Let's put the Secretary pocket that goes on the back. Stickers. It's trash. Let's see. Oh, gnome guy. Oh. And then, okay, so. Oh, that's a lot of her up front. She'll look good right there. Um, Glare and then another 
this we can insert. to figure out how to use this. Let's see. Oh, I'm tired. Hmm. You know what? Could totally be I don't know why my neighbor's dog is awake at this time of day. Like, I don't know why my neighbor's dog is barking at this time of day. Totally a page marker. It'd be really cute because it'll hang out at the bottom. If I had some beads or something, I could figure a way to thread them on. I got this traveling knot package the other day. Oh, no, this is for an A6. So I don't know if it'll fit, but. Probably not. Let's try it. I think this turquoise color will look really good. And here with the kit. I can, I mean, she's having a sale right now. Oh look, it fits a little bit. All right, I'm gonna order some B6 sizes, but it's there. And that's cute. This is a little pin hole there, so I have to find a pin that matches. It'll be this. All right. Let's see. How do you? <laughs> this is the part I'm confused about. I'm like, okay. How do you put this on here? So there's my little mushroom charm on the front, and then here's my pin. Fun. This was fun. I'm glad that um, I took the time to make those vinyl dashboards. Uh, vinyl inserts I don't know what they're called how to word them but I think they're like just TN inserts and yeah I love this kit today she is having she has a to-go kit available it's dragonflies or butterflies and I am going to definitely get the dragonfly one team dragonfly over here and yeah, so definitely check out the 1407 planners. I'll include all the links or anything I mentioned down at the bottom. I'm going to do a really quick flip through. If you skip to the end, here's the flip through. So I pulled out this pin gems. I want to say this is from, this might be from the first, no, first Northern Lights like? I'm not sure. Let me not say it wrong. Um, my pin gems experts might be able to help me out here in the comments. But. And there's this mushroom charm. You open it up and I put a piece of paper from the kit and the Coffee Monsters Co. Emodis stickers. I have to order from her. Now that I like actually have some, I need to get some more. This is the first insert and this is the planner insert with the month and then weeks. I've used the this week tab to mark the first week. I'm going to plan in this one next week. 
and then goes into the note section and I have a traveling knot traveling knots bookmark and this is for a6 size so b6 will probably be a little bit longer and I'm going to order b6 to use in my notebooks that I'm getting so I've kind of switched it up I made this is a DIY insert holder or dashboard holder and I made it using a tutorial from so scrap or so I'm sorry if I say the, the YouTube channel name wrong but she was the it's a very very helpful step-by-step -step tutorial and I'll have that link below this is a dashboard from the kit and I lined it with washi tape this was an insert in the kit it says appear die cuts it was from the die cuts and this is one of the little known die cuts this is actually a sticky note from the kit or not a sticky note just a note card sort of and I added some Simply Gilded Washi and a couple more die cuts using Washi. And this is just the insert that came with the notebook from Foxy Fix. And I used the pink ribbon to add a little something extra at the bottom. This is the K&Co bow. Here's another DIY um, dashboard holder that I made. Or this is the back of it. And then another die cut. It's, those are those papers that lined up really nicely. Here's another dashboard from the kit. This is the list insert, and I put the to do topper, page topper on there. This is the back of that DIY thing with more paper. And here are the stickers that were included in the kit they're a vinyl sticker and another die cut. And that's it. I'm so excited! This is like the first TN that I put together um, using stuff from the 1407 planner and it just is awesome. Let's pull around this little mushroom guy and insert the pin. And there it is. Alright, sorry that day three was late, but day four should be uploading soon as well. Thank you so much for coming and watching this um, TN set up your walkthrough from my channel and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.